Hello, my lovely Libra. How are you, loves? Welcome to your March reading. This is for single Libras, a singles reading. Let's see, darlings, what do we have for you? And thank you for all of you who did request this reading. As every month, we try to make it and bring those messages. Here we are this month as well. March 2023. Whatever in the world you are, welcome. And thank you for stopping here. If you really enjoy this reading or any other reading, you know, subscribe, like, and share. Comment below, leave your feedback. If you want to get in contact with us, write us an email. The email we have is in the description box. So let's see here, darlings. Singles, when I refer to, is you are not dealing here with someone in particular, or you are not married or committed. Let's see, darlings. Whatever energy comes through will be shared with you. Could be a love energy, could be a work energy any kind of situation out there so we have strength underneath lovers two of pentacles and the king of pentacles <clears throat> my apology strength and lovers you you highly feel that you are getting through the situation but i feel here now you are in that discomfort because you are a little in the doubt did i make a bet a good decision or not will i go through th this or not and i feel here i'm speaking with a quite responsible libra and no loves no matter what decision you make you are right because whatever we do, it's to our best interest. Let's see, darlings. We'll clarify as well this two of pentacles, but four of pentacles is the first card coming in. King of swords. Fool. And the tower. So four major arcanas. Fool, tower, strength, and lovers. Why are you second guessing here? Because it seems here that something here you you got to keep up with. This is my decision. I have something else in plans and somebody here might not really feel so. The four of pentacles here, clarifier. Nine of pentacles. Seven of cups. And magician. There's something here you manifest but you are probably needs to get way more clear. So King of Swords, it's crystal clear. Nine of Pentacles and Seven of Cups and Magician. I clearly know there's more than one option, one, one more energy. The Tower energy here, Five of Cups, Ace of Wands, Chariot. So somebody here didn't really expect what a turnaround of situation is there. Because it seems here that somebody doesn't stick with anything whatever hurts. But yes, the movement is happening. It's kind of, there is a Libra here that really speaks about I am free to do whatever I want to. The two of pentacles, ten of cups, six of swords, six of pentacles, and the sun. If I'm not appreciated at it, my true value, then I am out. For some of you might be dealing here with a twin flame as I have here three cards of twin flame. And if you didn't felt like the only option here for someone, that's why. The fact is, whatever you are going, it's, it's quite a surprise. 
it's quite a surprise that you not gonna stay whatever you are not prioritize or whatever you don't feel like you want to be and i don't see even you stuck or feeling stuck yes there is a little hurt but i feel here this month loves it's It's kind of suddenly I'm not going to be in here anymore. I'm free to do whatever I want and I'm going to do it. And it seems here I'm speaking with a Libra with probably higher education, higher position work-wise. For some of you, you may be involved with someone at your work, could be your boss, could be someone here who you are working. Because I, I feel here you are, you have both great skills but somebody here it's taken. As well, there is also a Libra because work-wise speaking might change their work. Might change their field of work or even the companies. Because something here happens, it's like I have this in my plans and if I were hesitant till now, now I'm not. So something here feels like switch into your energy. And I feel here it's more likely around the new moon in Aries on the 2021st. That's the, the time when you'll feel like, you know, I'll do now or never. Because fool, it's I do now. Today is the day, kind of. As well, the tower moment here, it's I'm not going to stay and regret or think or overthink or this is good, this is not, you know, compare. I'll just do it. So feels here that the movement, it's going to happen or there is a big movement and for... For some of you Libras, somebody here might be quite surprised whatever turnaround of situation is here. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. For some of you Libras, you might deal here with an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. For others of you, could be a Leo or um, I have Sag, I have Gemini, Cancerian or Scorpio. But it seems here that Leo energy you might have in your chart or Sagittarian. Let's see here. What's the best advice we have for my Libras? Temperance, another Sag card. Temperance really speaks about peaceful energy, getting more into your... It's kind of feeling like home. I need peace in my life. I need silence, but I feel also it's kind of like a quiet energy. I need to feel like myself. And definitely about balance. I need a life balance. For some of you, if you've been living a chaotic life, uh, a very active life, you just want some rest. For some of you, you may, may take a retreat in here. Yes, rejuvenation, your energy, rejuvenating your energy. Six of cups, reflecting on the things you've been through. Four of cups, yes. And what you need to redirect your energy into absolutely and what you want to yes for some of you definitely you are dealing here with an earth sign but also i see here for some of you there is a work situation that you want to change or work environment it seems here that you are quite positive 
but definitely you are into healing very very strongly for some of you you are having a new beginning but I feel here this this new beginning is very different than what you had before yeah another thing here we have the six of pentacles six of swords and the six of cups the six of wands is missing and the six of wands speaks of victory overcoming a situation is the minor arcana of strength strength actually and six of wands also speaks of you got above all the things you are been dealing so don't even doubt I'm, I'm doing the right decision or not. You're absolutely doing what is right. And whatever turnaround, whatever situation here is going on will lead you to something marvelous. And probably now, yes, it's a challenging energy, but I feel here within a couple of weeks, could be six weeks or the latest six months from now, you'll be in a whole different vibe. And of course, let's have a oracle. Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. So that's why I, I feel it's a very uncomfortable energy around you. Because you you are not quite sure, am I doing the right thing? And this is my this reading might be a confirmation for you. You are in the right place right now. And finding sanctuary and that's why I said that you might might go to a place where you can rejuvenate get your power back get your energy back refresh recharge opening to your spiritual source distant thunder clearing the air clearing the things out grounding go deep explore your roots and take a risk and venture forward I feel here this this energy of the tower with the take a risk venture forward you will try to take and the fool here it's a whole new thing that you'll feel like you know if i'm not gonna try now when i will and yeah it's a whole new turnaround and i feel also many of you libras whatever you do will um, will surprise others or will feel like, oh, what are you doing? Or did you think clearly what you do? But I feel here this war for a very long time into your mind, into your plans. The fact is that you were not, you know, free or were not going through. That means we're not there. And I feel here now is the best time, especially with the... Um, Aries in the season on the 20th and af afterwards it's quite unbelievable beautiful so Libra definitely here you know the things can turn and I feel here this is quite a big turnaround of energy but it's beautiful one go and do your best and make your life awesome Love and light loves, thank you for watching. Many blessings. See you next time. Namaste.